Hi everyone, I am so excited to show you this new feature in 2020 Design um, because it has been requested for quite some time. You'll notice I have a layout that's pretty much done, um, but I've added some notes that are very specific off to the side um, re as it relates to the hardware that I'd like to specify. And if you've been using 2020 Design for a while, you probably are very familiar with selecting the hardware, maybe having the sample in the showroom or having a photo of the hardware you'd like to select and explaining that that's what it's going to look like on your cabinetry. But when you render a space, um, you're showing off a lot of designs that quite often have just a generic placement of hardware, right? So here in this rendering, I have hardware placed, but this is the generic hardware that just comes with that particular catalog. Catalog. So the manufacturer catalog has that built in. Sometimes it looks close and sometimes it's not anything what I'm hoping for. So let's apply some Amrock hardware to this design. Your first step is you're going to go out to 2020.net and download the Amrock catalog. And what happens is the Amrock catalog will then show in your local browser. The nice thing is you don't actually have to go shopping in the local browser. You'll notice if I go under hardware and handles, it doesn't show anything in this list. All we need to do is once we've placed our, our um, cabinetry, I can go into attributes and go under add-ons. And instead of using the add-ons for my cabinet line, I can now go under Amrock. This adds hardware to any cabinet line. Now you'll notice that if I take this back off, there's the default hardware. As soon as I add it on, it actually just removes the defaults. And when I hit apply, now there's no hardware where it appears to look like no hardware on that item. However, all I need to do is go in to styles and pricing and specify which hardware I'm actually looking for. So here's the Amrock catalog catalog styles. This is a lot like picking the style and the color for your cabinetry. I can go under door pulls and I can go shopping. You'll notice they have it um, organized and divided by color, by style. So we could look under gold. We could look under the brown tones. When you pick the actual color, it'll show you every style so you can get the quick visual and specify the exact item. So the one I'm looking for, though, is under the black tones. It's the black bronze finish. If I scroll down just a little bit, here's that bar pull 7 and 9 sixteenths of an inch. I'm going to do the same thing for my drawers. Um, I don't have it on my drawers yet, but we'll add it in just a minute. There's the same item. Now I've got them specced. You'll notice in the upper right hand corner, there's three little lines here. This is a great way to go in and have it just kind of be your second pair of eyes. This will show you if you've forgotten anything. Um, you can clear selections if you kind of want to just start over and try something different. You can also print this. Um, I have an example of what that looks like when it's printed. It shows you a nice little layout with the visual the product number, description, and even a signature line that you can ask your client to sign off just to verify that we've all agreed on that. Um, but I can go ahead and I can submit this. And now that I have added that, when I go in to look at that cabinet again, let's take a peek, uh, much better. Now it actually has those larger dark poles. We can look at this in a couple different rendering modes. Pretty cool. Now, if I go ahead and I render the whole space, you might look at that and go, okay, that's great. We placed hardware on one cabinet, but what about the rest of the design? Because you, now you can see you've got the dark hardware here, but everything else still has the default. This one, um, it's not hard to do, but you're going to want to look around your design and decide what's the easiest way to apply it to everything. How can I tell, first of all, that this one has it applied? Notice that there's a line underneath that wall 3636 that shows me that there's an add-on. So some sort of add-on has been added. So what I want to do is go ahead and this wall here, I just went to my cabinets tab and I can just really quick win window a whole group of cabinets and now if I go under attributes you can also add on an attribute to a group like this just go in and pick your Amrock catalog add your handles say okay Okay, now each one of those items now has the add-on. Now that becomes a little more difficult on my other areas. I have another perimeter wall in my island, but in these areas, I have items that don't accept handles. So for instance, there's some back panels, there's a waterfall edge for my island, um, there's a tall filler, all of these things don't need hardware. So if I try to make a big window, notice that in the right-click menu, there is no attributes window. So I need to be a little more specific. And what I'm doing is I'm just holding down my control key as I'm going around and picking just the cabinetry. Right? Now, if I right click, there's my attributes, then I can ask it to do the add-on of Amrock and I can check Amrock hardware. 
Awesome. Now you could even go in as much detail as, let's go back into one of these cabinets here, like this wall cabinet. Um, by default, the hardware came in um, kind of in that bottom corner. And you'll notice if I go under variables, you can still go into your quantity and you can still adjust your pull position. So if you've got something really unique going on or a different type of hardware that you'd like to move or turn it off for any reason, you can still adjust it too. Pretty cool. Now, the last thing I want to note is now that we've applied it to everything, we can also run a report on this. If I go in and I take a look, let's do a quick item list. Now, this item list is going to pull um, the entire project, which I have a lot of different catalogs. So we're going to go through and we're going to look for the page that just gives us the item list for AMROC. We want to double check our counts to make sure we can order this correctly, right? So if I scroll down a few pages in, here's the AMROC page tells me exactly what I've spec'd. Here's all the cabinets that I've added it to, and here's my totals, 20 plus 11 for what I'm going to need to order to um, correctly specify those products.